Hey buddies, for today's Naked Sunday, we're going to be answering a question that I had gotten like way back in the day and I kind of touched on it, but I want to make it into a full video itself, all right? And that is riding. And I'm not talking about horseback riding, I'm talking about the cowgirl position. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say what it is that I need to say. All right, maybe it's because doing this video, it's going to be hard without actual demonstrations, but we're gonna try to get through it together, right? Right, all right, so what we're first gonna start with are the things that you could be doing wrong while you're not enjoying the cowgirl position. When you're in this position, you want to make sure that you are as wet as possible because when you're on top and you're riding, if you're dry and there's friction, you're not going to enjoy it, okay? The next thing is that you want to make sure that you're not jumping up and down in the air like a crazy person. If you do this continuously, your thighs will begin to hurt. You're really not going to be enjoying it. You're not going to be hitting the spots that you need to be hitting unless he has like a ginormous ding dong, okay? You want to make sure that you're doing more of a wavy riding motion back and forth, twirly type of thing. We're going to get into that later in the video. So make sure that you're not just jumping up and down, hopping like a like a jackrabbit. Those two things are the, the main things that you want to avoid doing when it comes to this position. All right. Now the things that you want to be doing, like I was saying just a little while ago, is that you're doing more of a back and forth flowy motion. You're more of a grinding motion than anything else and less of a jumping motion. If you do want to bounce, <laughs> you can do that, but you don't want to get too high, especially if he has a smaller member working with. If you're doing the jumping motion or bouncing too much, then it's going to slide out. And if it slide out and then you just happen to bounce at that time, you're going to break it. You don't want to break it. You don't want to break the tip off. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to do because then you're just going to mess up the whole mood that you both were in. You won't get off. He won't get off. And then... It's probably going to be a trip to the ER after that. All right, so make sure that you're doing more of a, a grinding motion than anything else. Work with your hips, all right, and it will flow naturally. Just work with your hips. If you're transitioning from regular cowgirl with your legs folded back, your knees bent, your legs folded backwards, <laughs> if you want to transition from regular cowgirl to reverse cowgirl while still on it, you want to move slowly, gently, while still rocking, if that makes any sense to you. And once you're in reverse cowgirl, one of the best things that I love doing is reaching over and grabbing his ankles and just doing a slow bouncy movement. You can also do your twirls and your grind and your slow wind and stuff like that. But that slow bouncing movement, that visual for him is amazing. For you, it feels amazing because you're at an angle where he is hitting your G-spot or you are hitting your own G-spot with his ding dong. Let's take it back to cowgirl from reverse cowgirl. Let's take it back to cowgirl. What you can also do is lean back into it. When you lean back and you're thrusting forward, that's another angle where you're hitting your own spot. In this position, you are controlling your own orgasm. You're controlling your pleasure, all right? Another fun thing that I love to do is reach forward, lace my fingers into his, and also do that same slow bouncing movement that you were doing in reverse cowgirl, all right? With this, again, it's another angle. It's also a great way for you to put your tits in his mouth. If you like your tits being sucked on, which the majority of us do, this is a great position for you to be in. Another fun thing to do is handcuff his wrists together and put them above his head. He can't touch you, he can't do anything much, and you are in complete control. This is where you can do anything to him, whether it's kissing or nibbling or biting or whatever the case is. This is how much fun cowgirl is, and this is why it is one of my favorite sex positions. If you still do not understand or comprehend or still can't get it right, or feel like I haven't touched on something, 
on this topic, leave it in the comment section below and I'll answer as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face. Bye. Now on my lips, I'm using the Razor Lippy Stick and Lippy Pencil in... Did I just say Razor? <laughs> but it's my Ray Ray from Color...